Good evening. Monday night, five o'clock. Time for weights. Upper body weights on this session. Let's see who we've got. Let's get somebody in. Get my drink on. Anybody there? Anybody at all? Anyone in at all? Oh, just one. Hello. Who have we got? There's two. Hey, Sean. You okay? Okay, so the upper body weight session. The idea behind this one is, well, pretty much purely upper body. Upper body, upper body, and upper body. Michael Miller, how are you, buddy? So we are using whatever you've got as weights. Okay, for this session, just for fun, I'm going to use a shopping bag. Or rather, two shopping bags. Ta -da, just normal little bags. These are the ones that scrunch up into tiny little pockets in the corner, yeah? So, two of these in each bag are one, two, three, four, five tins, okay? Purely doing this to illustrate that no matter what you've got or haven't got, weights equipment, gym equipment wise, there's something in the house you can use as a resistance. Something you can use for a workout. Tamara's back in, she was in on this morning's class, so she's back for another one. Had a go. Okay, so you can use anything. I've got two tins, oh sorry, two bags of tins. I also have hanging around a nine kilo kettlebell and a 10 kilo viper. Big black rubber tube, as I always call it, because that's what it is. Um, so there's a mixture of different bits. You also need, if you haven't got one handy, a chair. Get yourself a chair, like now. You need to have one available. Tanya, how are you doing? Very creative, yeah? It's something different, you know me. Can't get bored of doing the same thing every day. All right, so you will need a chair because we are going to be doing dips. Plan today, five rounds. We're going to do a round on chest, one on back, one on shoulders, one on bicep, and one on tricep. So all the main upper body muscles except core. And when we're done, you go over to Tom's page on Facebook and join him for his abs blast, for his core workout. So you can go straight off from me to go and see another trainer I work with. Fantastic session, guaranteed. Guy's on fire. <laughs> I hope he's doing it tonight now. Hi, Julie. All right, so let's quickly get warmed up. Let's get you a little bit of space. Nice, easy warm up for the upper body. We do it in most sessions. Just swing your arms through. Loosen out the shoulders. So steadily swing it through. And then let's take it one arm up, one arm down. Come on, just roll it through, loosen up the chest and shoulders. And then take it wide. And as you reach back, turn it so your thumb is at the bottom. Yeah, a little finger on top. And then tap yourself on the back. Alternate that top hand. But you get that turn, that little twist as your hand goes back. It'll open the chest. It'll open the bicep a little bit. It'll just wake all the muscles up, ready to work later on. Keep going. Get the chest nice and loose. We are going to be starting on the chest part of the workout. All right, let's take your hands to the back of your head. Just turn one way and then the other. Back to the center. Now what I want you to do from here, turn your feet in slightly so your toes point in towards each other and then get that twist going again. 
should find it a little bit harder to turn. You're not going to turn as far, but we are going to use your core a little bit more. Three more. One more. Uh, back to the middle. Shake your arms and legs loose. Okay, so let's get this done quickly. We're going to start out on the floor for chest. Let's turn the Facebook camera down a little bit because the Instagram one can see it all. So we're going to start it out with your weight for chest flies. So the weight is above you, it comes out to the side, back into the middle, just a little bend in the elbow. You've got to do 20 flies, then 15 chest press, and then 10 press ups. So it's 20, 15, 10. As many times around as you can in four minutes. Yeah. 20 flies, 15 press. 10 press ups, 4 minutes, round and round and round. Are we ready? I'll take that as a yes. Here we go, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! So 20 flies to begin, just that little bend in the elbow, take it wide, keep your arms at the floor, and then bring it into the center. Once you've done your 20 here, you've got 15 chest press, just push it up above you. And once you've done your 15 here, turn it over. 10 press ups. And then you go back again, 20 flies. Always that little bend in the elbow. Once you've done your 20, it's 15 chest press. And once you've done your 15 here, 10 press ups. Okay, we got about two minutes to go, we're coming up halfway. Keep moving. <laughs> Tom's commented, go on, Paddy boy. Tom, give us the link to your page, come on. They need it for the abs later, make sure you finish them off, son. So get your 20 flies. Then 15 press. And then you turn it over and you get your 10 press ups in again. Come on. Just over a minute to go. You got time for another round, at least. So after your 20 flies, you know, come on, it's 15 press.
And then you finish it off. 10 press ups. You've got 25 seconds left on this round. You've got time to do this and get some flies in again. Ten seconds. Come on, get it to the end. Do as much as you can. Four, three, two, one. That'll do. All right, quick chance to breathe. And while you breathe, I'm going to open the windows. I'm getting warm in here. Okay. So, round two. With whatever weight you're going to use. We go for, let's put this back. Same principle, 20, 15, 10. So we start on 20 deadlift. A little bend in the knee, lean forwards, pull it back up. So we can use your lower back. Then you've got 15 rows, bent over row. Pull your elbow towards your hip, arm stays close to the body. So it's 20 deadlift, 15 rows. And then you lay it down. Use whatever you want as your weight. You've got 10 pullovers. The weight goes to the floor and you pull it around you. You start with your deadlifts. Two, one, go. 20 deadlifts to begin. So a little bend in the knee. Once you've done 20 deadlifts, you keep your knees bent, you lean forwards, and you get into your bent over row, pull your arms back. So you've got 15 of these. And once you're done with your 15, whatever many that was, down to the floor, grab your weight. You've got your pullover, 10 pullovers. Once you've done your 10, bring it back up. Back to your deadlifts. We're just over a minute in. my 20 so now it's 15 bent over rows for those of you just tuning in if you haven't gone mad I am actually doing this with shopping bags just for fun five tins in each one just to show you can do something as a workout but we haven't got a gym to go to three two once I'm done with 15 of those it's pullovers 10 reps Once you've done your pullovers, back to your deadlifts. Bye bye. Just let my cat out, it's alright. She snuck in through the window. And then wondered what the hell I'm up to. Come on. You've always got that bend in your knee. Push your butt back, keep your back straight. Work that lower back. 20 deadlift. Once you've done your 20, it's bent over rows. Of course, if you've got dumbbells, use that, yeah? Or a bar, use that. Come on, let's go. 10 pullovers. And once you've done your pullovers, you've got time to get back to your deadlifts. We've got 35 seconds left this round. Come 
Come on, keep going. Keep going. Once you've done your 20, you've got enough time to squeeze in 15 rows if you're quick. Nearly there. Three, two, one. That's time. Okay. You've got a minute to breathe. So we're off the floor now. We're away from the floor. Next round is shoulders. Same concept, 20, 15, 10. So we've got whatever weight you're using, weight in each hand. Bent over raises, bend your knees, lean it forward, same as we were for deadlift or bent over row. We've got 20. Bent over side raises, pull your hands apart. Get the back of the shoulder to do the work. Then you've got 15 standing side raises. And then you've got 10 front raise, bring it up shoulder height. 20, 15, 10, round and round, four minutes. Even a song set, let's go. Three, two, one, bent over raise. 20 here. So knees bent, hips back, pull your hands apart from each other. We all okay? Once you've done your 20 bent over raises, stand it up. Standing side raise. Try and keep your shoulders down. Just pull your hands apart. Get them up, shoulder height. You should feel it on the outside of the shoulder, working through, yeah? And once you've done 15 here, it's front raise, up to shoulder height. Bring it forward, 10 reps here. Once you've done your 10 here, back to the start, bent over raise, 20 reps, knees bent, pull your hands apart. Come on, keep going, keep going. You've done your 20 here, stand it up. Side raise, 15. Hey, come on, we can do it. Once you've done 15 here, it's front raise. Bring it up in front of you. We've got one minute forty-ish to go. Loads of time. Come on, back to that bent over raise. Twenty reps again. Lean it in, back straight, knees bent, hips back. Same coaching point as ever. Pull your hands apart. Once you've done your 20, you stand it up. Side raise. Picking your hands up, shoulder height. Try not to let your shoulders bounce up and down. We want all that work just on the outside of the shoulder. 15 here. One minute to go. And once you've done your 15, you've got 10 front raise. Time. Got through just over 30 seconds. We've got time to get in again. My 
shoulders are burning with five tins of beans for each hand. This is getting ridiculous. Come on. Four, three, two, one. All right. One minute to breathe. Come on. Let's do biceps next. Because it feeds in. So we're going. I'm going to get rid of the tins. Me and my bar this time. Me and my tube. So we've got 20 full curls. All the way up. All the way down. Then 15 at the top half and then 10 at the bottom half only okay 20 full <laughs> thanks Kim yeah everyone loves the turtles they're great isn't it such a grown up aren't it? so we've got 20 full curls 15 top half 10 bottom half go around again as many times as you can 4 minutes right the way through Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. So 20 curls all the way up and down, whether you've got a bar, dumbbells, bags full of beans, whatever you want. Once you've done your 20 full range, we're going 15, top half only, all the way up, stop in the middle. And once you've done your 15 there, it's 10 at the bottom half, all the way down, halfway up, stop in the middle. When you're done with those, 24. One minute done, three to go. Once you done your fall, 15 at the top half. And ten in the bottom half. And then we go around again. Back to twenty full range. We're coming up to halfway. Here we go. Two minutes done. Two minutes to go. Once you're done with those, it's your top half only. John Z, you okay? Once you've done your 15 top, 10 bottom. And then we go around again. Come on, just over a minute to go. 20 full. All the way up, all the way down. Then we move it up. Top half only, only 15 reps, only 40 seconds to go, come on. And then after your 15 there, there's 10 at the bottom half.
Probably got 10 seconds. Yeah, let's get back in. All right, okay, put your weight down. So you've got one minute to breathe. We have one last round to go. Triceps, back of the arm. This is where you need your chair. Yippee! So we're going for 20 dips. However hard you want to make it, it's up to you. The easier version is your feet closer to you. The harder version, feet further away. But we are looking for as many rounds as possible. As many reps as possible. So punch it through, feet a bit closer. 20 dips. Then with your dumbbells or whatever weight, we're doing kickbacks. You lean over, armor, push back. 15 kickbacks. And yes, you can do both hands together, yeah? If you do one at a time, it's 15 each arm. And then you finish it off with extensions overhead. Only 10. We start on 20 dips. Now, four minutes, let's go. So after your 20 dips, grab your weights, lean it forwards. It's your kickbacks. Push that weight back. Keep your upper arm level to the floor. Just move from the elbow. 15 here. Try not to swing it. Try and keep it controlled. Oh, I think that's 40. That's about 15. Then you bring it up. Tricep extension. So your weight comes back behind you. It's only 10 of these, and once you've done your 10, back to your chair, 20 dips. Once you've done your 20, grab that weight, it's your kickback. Fifteen of these. Fourteen, and there's my fifteen, and it's extensions, arms up. That's my ten, back to dips. We're just over halfway. Come on, a bit quicker. Oh, come on, get up, stop thinking about it. Let's do it. 15 here. 90 seconds to go. That's my 15, so then it's tricep extensions. Once you've done your 10, back to dips. We've got exactly one minute left. Last minute. Come on, blast it up. Let's get another full round. Twenty dips, fifteen kickbacks. We got twenty seconds to the very end.
four, three, two, one, hey! All right, nice work guys, well done. If you are looking for an ab workout now to carry on the upper body, jump off this, get over to Tom's page, I tagged him earlier. Hopefully he's put a comment in the video, or under the video, while we're doing this. He's got a core workout going on. If you're not rushing off to do that, that's that. Let's quickly stretch it out. So, swing your arms through, same as we did in the warm up at the beginning, but only quickly. Three, two, one, that'll do. Take one arm across the body. Push the tricep or pull from the wrist. Don't push or pull on the elbow. You're welcome, Sean. Nice quick blast for this session. And then take that hand back behind you, push it back into place, quick stretch through the tricep. Just relax it back, get that stretch through the back of the arm. Push it back slightly, open that stretch, feel it stretching and moving, three, two, and bring it down. Let's take the other arm across the body. Still keeping your shoulder down away from your jaw. Whew. So how are you feeling? You okay? Still with me? Quick burst for tonight. If you need a longer workout, go and do the one from this morning. Let's take that hand back behind you. A lovely workout this morning, 66 minutes. Covered everything. And covered everybody in sweat in the process. Come on, push that arm back, get that stretch. And then bring it down, shake your arms loose. Let's take your hands out to the side. And I want you to turn your thumb down and round. Turn it forwards. Still keeping your hands up. Take them back. You should feel a little bit of a stretch off the bicep, chest, front of the shoulder. If you can't, that's fine. Keeping your hands up high. Turn your thumb under. Tuck it right under. Really twist that arm over. And then bring your hand to the back of your hip. Squeeze your elbows in tight. Quick stretch here, look over one shoulder. And then look over the other shoulder, squeeze your elbows back. And then take it back to the middle, bring your hands down, shake them loose. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you very much guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We've got legs, bums and tums with two tins in the morning. And um, abs tomorrow night, five o'clock. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.